Hello everyone. Hope you are doing very well. In this video, I will talk about one of the cleanup routines in Microsoft Dynamics CCTV Finance and Operation. As part of cleanup routines, Microsoft has come up a lot of cleanup notifications, batch job history notice cleanup, you know, uh, sales order deletion, quotation deletion. So today we will see a feature called in general ledger, which is clean up ledger journals so many of us might not be aware that we can delete the posted journal which we have you know like in general journals in accounts payable invoice journal payment journal right allocation journal periodic journal so those journal can be deleted even if that is posted however we also know that erp does not allow a robust ERP does not allow to delete any financial data from the system. So how Microsoft has come up and mitigating this issue in Microsoft Dynamics CTO finance and operation. So before we talk about and deep dive into the demo, maybe we would like to see what are the use cases, why we require this. So as you, there is a company which actually, you know, uh, creates lot of transactions lot of jvs lot of lot of financial data and at the same time they also wants to you know streamline or enhance i would say uh, uh you know their uh, capacity like in daily basis if they process around thousands of transactions jvs that means their table is getting a huge and database is getting huge and for that they might have to pay extra so microsoft has come up with the idea that even if those journals are posted we can delete those that means our data capacity gets some you know free size right so that the risk will be lower at, at you know in, the, in terms of the database size however the financial transaction still will be there in the system so there is no impact from the financial point of view so now we will deep dive into this feature uh, from the general journal general ledger uh, module we will collapse it in the periodic task we will see an option called uh, you know how to where the clean up ledger journals we click on this clean up ledger journals here you will have multiple options and date range so date range says from this date to this date you can delete this journal posted journals so you have option for general ledger in general ledger general journals allocations eliminations Fixed assets, fixed asset budget, bank check reversal, bank deposit slip cancellation, customer and vendor netting, project expenses. So these journals can be deleted based on this range. It will be deleted from the system forever. If you go to you know account receivable, then we have option called customer payment journal. We can delete customer draw bill of bill of exchange, customer protest uh, bill of exchange, customer draw bill of exchange, customer bank remittance, customer settle bill of exchange. If you go to accounts payable. We have vendor disbursement that is vendor payment journal and promissory note journals, bank remittance, invoice register, app numbers, approval. So these all journals can be deleted from the system based on this range. What we will do? We will just tick on it. A general journal. Yes, we will mark the A. That means if we select a range and based on this general based on this range, the general journal will be deleted. So what we will do? We will create a general journal, we will post it, and we will see the impact let's go to okay, sorry my bad uh, let's go to general ledger so this can functionality can be used based on the available like you have seen in account research which can be deleted right so those you can also test it so let's go to general journals right and let's let's create a general journal let's see claim daily okay and then let's create maybe my system is slow so here i will select maybe a this bank account usd debit ninety thousand, and in offset i will select uh, maybe something anything i mean you can select anything right so a wip others let's see 
so maybe i can select uh, you know some dimensions as well here also i will select dimensions however you can select anything so just for the demo purpose i'm just creating this okay so now uh, my posting date is 15 10 my voucher is this uh, 008 we will copy it okay posting in usmf and i will post it right so now what we will do we will see the voucher well, the voucher impact of this journal this jv i would say and then we will delete it based on that uh, sorry uh, by the by that feature clean up ledger journal feature so bank account is debit and working progress is credit it's just don't don't assume this is the correct entry this is just an example i am taking okay so now uh, this says the date posting date is 15 10 to 49 am and then we will go to uh, clean up ledger journals right and 15 10 we will select 15 10 12 am and 15 10 maybe 10 pm in between these so 10 pm is still not there so in between this date and time all the general journal marked as yes sorry we have marked as yes that means in between this range of all the general journals whichever is there it will be, it will be deleted from the system so click ok it is processing the operation and operation completed so now what we will do we will go to general journals and we will check whether that journal which, are, which we have posted which is already there or not so newest oldest so if you see today today's it is 15 10 but the last date the journal was 9 10 so that means today's journal which we have posted that has been deleted from the system and you cannot just retrieve it once again however the question is still there most important question is how can a ERP delete the posted journal right so basically that is a tweak microsoft is uh, you know not deleting the financial data remember it is only deleting the source transaction so it has deleted the journals journal which has with original transaction however the data will still be there let's see so if you go to voucher transactions uh, here in queries and reports voucher transactions and then check today's transaction like say 15 10 maybe or maybe we can just today t right da, da, da. see the transaction the voucher which is this is still there in the system bank account and wip which we have posted by the general channel right so the financial transaction still it is there but if you click on original document it will never show anything let's see see the original document is not there the only transaction or voucher transaction is there if you go to transactions it will still show you the transactions okay and if you go to let's see transaction origin it will still show you the transaction origin but the original document will be deleted from the system so what it is helping it is helping the you know uh, how to say it is freeing up some space by deleting the journal batch the source transaction but it is still keeping or you know uh, is the financial transaction is still there in the system so there is no financial impact as such right so there will be questions like who has created audit log you will see the created by right so created by also it will be there in the system so audit log will be also there so there is no impact on the finance or compliance point of view so that's what we can do in microsoft dynamics system finance and operation it is a new feature and you can utilize this feature by you know uh, deleting journals if the data size is huge right so you have what if you go to here you have general ledger you have accounts receivable account receivable everything so that's it uh, for this video just wanted to showcase that this cleanup routine is uh, finally here you can utilize this uh, now, uh, as part of your cleanup job activity right so thanks for watching stay tuned for another video like this
Bye for now.